Euro Football Weekly is brought to you by Coral. Welcome to Euro Football Weekly, I'm Natalie Rydstrom. Joining me today to preview the matches and to tell us where the best value lies is Stuart from BetAdvisor.com. Stuart, thanks for being here. Hi Natalie. Now for those of us who are new to this show, could you tell us about BetAdvisor.com please? Well, BetAdvisor is basically, a, we'd like to call it the Amazon of football tipsters. What we do is we find a range of football tipsters, uh, basketball tipsters, rugby tipsters, uh, horse racing tipsters, and we put them all together in one place for people to evaluate and see which ones they like and would like to sign up to. Okay. Now, final match is the La Liga match, uh, Barcelona versus Rayo Vallecano. Let's start with home team Barca and their amazing win against AC Milan in the final leg of the Champions League round of 16, 4-0. Um, and this was the first time in 14 games that they kept a clean sheet. If they were going to change their habit, then that game was a good time to start. Last head-to-head -head in October, away team Barca won 5-0. And this match, they are the overwhelming favourites to win. And I can imagine with a few, a few goals expected in this game too. Now, is there very, is, I can imagine there's very little value betting the favourites here. So where does the money lie? In terms of value, uh, it's very difficult to say. We've had a good look through the markets that are available and haven't really found anything that I think offers real value. If you're going to go for the goals market, then you've really got to be looking at the over under four goals to get anywhere close to evens. It's definitely a possibility, but at the end of the day, you've got to look and say, what's my risk reward, my risk reward ratio here? And I don't think there's enough reward for the level of risk you'd have to take. Uh, in terms of the teams, you know, you've got Barcelona, they're 13 points ahead of Real Madrid in the league, so they could afford their recent blip in results. And even though their manager, Tito Villanueva, is still away in New York undergoing treatment, he apparently watches every single training session over a CCTV set up in his hotel room, so he's not laying up. Vallecano's only hope is that the midweek Champions League game has tied out the uh, likely Spanish champions. But personally, I think it's more likely to have reinvigorated them, so even maybe at 1.12, there is an argument there might actually still be some value in betting that. Okay, and say if there was a match that there wasn't much value to be made, would you advise your client to maybe sort of, you know, this is a game to watch, or advise them to sort of put their money in another game? Is that what you would do? Well, certainly if you've got a game where it's so tight or the odds are, you know, the bookies are all over it, then you've got to look at it and say, is there really any reward for this? And if there's no reward, then there's no point risking your money. So what we'll say to people is, you know, we'll make you money as best we can and we'll do that by betting on the games where you've got a chance of actually making something and actually having a real result. So in a game like this, it's something we would generally stay away from. All right, Stuart, thanks for joining us.